Naaman had leprosy, leprosy, leprosy. Naaman had leprosy, he wanted to be healed. Elisha said, dip seven times, seven times, seven times. Elisha said, dip seven times in the river Jordan. When Naaman obeyed, he was healed, he was healed, he was healed. When Naaman obeyed, he was healed, healed by faith in God. Hey everybody, welcome to Bible Class with Mr. Dustin. I am so very glad that you are here with me. Today, we're going to be reading about a man called Naaman. He had something that is called leprosy. Leprosy was a skin sickness that... We read about really quite a bit in the Bible. People that had leprosy, they were usually in pain and, and discomfort and they couldn't be around other people. So they didn't make other people sick. Uh, not only was it painful, but it was also very lonely. That doesn't sound like fun, does it? Well, let's look in our beginner Bible. We're going to look at a story today called... Naaman is healed. God helped heal him from leprosy. Let's see what the story says. Naaman was a very great army commander. He was a brave soldier, but he had a problem. He had a terrible skin disease called leprosy. See, he's got the bandages on his hands. Mm. One day, Naaman's wife said, My servant told me, you should go see the prophet Elisha. He can heal you. See, his wife is telling him, go see Elisha. Naaman reached Elisha's home. Elisha sent out a man with this message. Dunk yourself in the river Jordan seven times. Then you will be healed. See, Elisha's servant is telling him, seven times dip in the Jordan. At first... Naaman thought it was a silly idea, but his servant said, please go. This is not a hard thing to do. So Naaman dunked himself in the river Jordan seven times. When he was done, Naaman's skin disease was gone. Look at him. After seven times in the Jordan, he's clean. Naaman was so excited that he ran to thank Elisha for curing him. Naaman said, Israel's God is the only true God. See, Naaman is so excited. Had to go tell Elisha, thank you. And he realized that God, the God of Israel, was the only true God. Woo. Whoops. Okay. So what did we see happen in our story today? Well, if you remember, Naaman, he had a skin disease called leprosy. Leprosy was, was not really something anybody wanted to have. But his wife told him, you should go and you should see Elisha the prophet and that Elisha could heal him. Do you remember Elisha? We've been talking about him for, for several stories, really. And Naaman, he did go. He went to see Elisha, and Elisha sent a servant out, and he told him, go dip himself down in the Jordan River how many times? Five? Ten? Or seven? He said seven times. Seems like kind of a strange thing to do. Dip seven times in a river, and that that would make my sickness go away? I've never had a doctor tell me to do that. But... In our story, Naaman thought it was kind of a silly thing to do also. Hmm. But he did it anyway because his servant said, it's not that hard of a thing to do. Go give it a shot. And what happened to his leprosy? It went away. It was clean. God healed Naaman because Naaman obeyed. Sometimes God asks us to do things that they may not always make sense to us. But God always wants us to obey him, no matter what, because God cares for us so much. So I want to sing our song one more time. I think that song helps us to remember our lesson. 
Naaman had leprosy, leprosy, leprosy. Naaman had leprosy, he wanted to be healed. Elisha said, dip seven times, seven times, seven times. Elisha said, dip seven times in the river Jordan. When Naaman obeyed, he was healed, he was healed, he was healed. When Naaman obeyed, he was healed, healed by faith in God. So today... I have a fun craft. You see here, Naaman has got leprosy. And here, Naaman is clean. You can, you can print these out, cut them out, and you can color it and then glue it to two sides of a stick. Then you can get a page. If you have blue paper, you can just cut it like a wave. Or you can color it and make it blue so it's water. And then you can cut it out. And then we have Naaman's leprosy. And he dips one two, three, four, five, six, seven. <gasps> and now he's clean. So you can remember our lesson today as well. You can, you can retell the story maybe to your parents. And you can show them what you did. So all of this, because Naaman obeyed something that seemed like a goofy idea, but it worked. And that helps us to know that we should obey God too because he knows what's good for us. So why don't we pray together and then we'll be done with Bible class. God, we're so very thankful for your love for us, for your grace and mercy, and for the fact that we have stories like this where we can see people doing things that maybe it doesn't make sense to us, but we know that you called us to it and for that reason it does make sense because you are a good God and you have things good planned for us. And we thank you for your love for us, that you sent your son Jesus for our good to teach us how to live and that he died that we could live forever in heaven with you. Uh, help us to obey you and follow you. And thank you for each of these people listening today. I ask you to bless them. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Thank you for coming to Bible class today. I hope that I'll see you again on Sunday. Have a good week.